Hi everybody, Michael Brown here again. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. This is a cool lesson. Here's a filter you guys are going to find to be truly magical. But you just have to be careful not to overdo it with this one. This is called the Liquify filter. It's how you adjust sizes, squeeze, push, pull, and how those models get those absolute thin wastes. Let's take a look at it. The Liquify filter workspace and tools and how to retouch with it. So let's get started. Um, let's start with this lady here is a shot we took of her, just a headshot. Uh, she's a good looking woman. We haven't done any retouch on this shot at all. You can see it needs some extensive retouch in the neck and cleanup and so on and so forth. But we're going to deal with that in another lesson. Right now, we're going to use the Liquify filter, which allows you to reshape items. For example, if you look closely at her chin line and her uh, jawbone line. As she is aged, the inset just between the chin and the jawbone has dropped in a little bit and it kind of pronounces the, sh the shape of her face. What would be really nice to do is to bring this in in the jawbone area and smooth it outward a little bit in the chin area just to smooth out both of those. Now in my world of retouching, I'm a believer in maintaining the integrity of a photograph. Even by reshaping this, it's only going to take a few years off. It's not going to change the person at all. So let's go ahead and do this. It's pretty simple. Now, in Photoshop CS6, they've revised the Liquify filter so that the actual engine for the filter makes it work a little faster on high resolution files. But there's a way to avoid that anyway unless you have to use the whole image. Take your marquee or your lasso tool, doesn't matter, feather of zero, and just drag it across the area. And what's going to happen is that will isolate that area and when we go to the filter that's all that we're going to see. So we go to the filter menu and right down at the beginning there's liquify. And when we do so, here's the box isolated to that area. Now, when you first open it up, you're going to see this box right here with a limited number of tools. This is called the Forward Warp Tool, the Reconstruct Tool, which brings things back, Pucker, Bloat. This is the Push Left Tool, of course, the normal hand tool to move your image around if it's zoomed in a little bit like that and the zoom tool. Let me demonstrate what the tools do. Forward warp tool. Oh, and you have a brush size here. And you can adjust the brush size over here or your right bracket. I want to see if the control option key works. It does. Control option on a Mac, control right click on a PC, and you can do it on the fly, or left bracket down, right bracket up. In the case of working here, the cross inside the brush is where the primary action occurs and it falls off toward the outer edge. 